Hello students, welcome back to our maths class. Today we will continue this session with the next exercise 4.3 of chapter number 4. The first question is solve the following. Children here the equation is given here. Here we will solve the given equation using transposing method. Okay, we will not use the separating the variable method here. So, first the question given to us is 2y plus 5 by 2 equal to 37 by 2. So, now children first we will transpose 5 by 2 to the next side. Transposing means taking to the another side. Okay, so you can see here I have taken 2y equal to 37 by 2 minus 5 by 2. I have taken 5 by 2 to this side. So, when we take it to the another side, it will change its sign from plus to minus. So, you can see here minus 5 by 2. Now, in the next step, you can see here both the denominators are same. So, you do not need to take any LCM, just go with the operation operating the numerators here. Okay. So, what will be your next step? 37 minus 5, you get 32 by 2. So, therefore, 2y equal to 32 by 2 you will get. Now, you can reduce it to 1s and to 16s. Right. So, what you will get? 2y equal to 16. Now, y equal to 16 by 2. Now, from where the 2 came children? We have cross multiplied 2 in the denominator. It was like this 2y equal to 16. So, cross multiplying 2, it will come as 2y, sorry, y equal to 16 by 2. Now, cutting 2 1s are 2 8s are. Now, you can see the value of y we get here is y equal to 8. Okay. So, let us go for the next one. q by 4 plus 7 equal to 5. Now, children, we will transpose 7 on the another side and when we transpose it on the another side, the sign will be opposite. It will be minus 7. So, you can see q by 4 equal to 5 minus 7. Okay. 5 minus 7, when we do it, children, what do we get? Minus 2. So, q by 4 equal to minus 2. Now, 4 will go in cross multiplication. That means minus 2 into 4 children will get. What do we get? Minus 8. So, we will get the value of q as minus 8. Now, let us go for the next one. Children, the next one here is given to you. 5 by 2x equal to 25 by 4. Okay. Now, children, what are we going to do? We will first cross multiply 2 on the opposite side. So, we will put it in the numerator of the opposite side. It will be 25 by 4 into 2. Okay. Now, you can see here, I can uh, reduce here to 1s and to 2s. Okay. So, the next step, x equal to 25 by 2 into 5. Children, this 5 came from where? This 5, we have cross multiplied here. Okay. So, we have to cross multiply. So, the final we will get 25 by 2 into 5. Now, you can see 5 ones are 5 fives are. Okay. So, what we get finally? Our answer of variable x as 5 by 2. Let us go for the next one. 7m plus 19 by 2 equal to 13. Children will transpose first 19 by 2 on the another side. That is 7m equal to 13 minus 19 by 2. Now, why it became minus? Because when we take to other side, the sign plus will be changing to minus. Now, here you can see 13 minus 19 by 2 children. When there is no denominator, we take it always at 1. So, 13 by 1 I took here. Now, as both the denominators are different, I have to go for the LCM. So, the LCM will be 2. Now, you can see next step 13 into 2, 1 into 2 minus 19 by 2 into 1 into 1. This will give us 26, 13 to that 26 minus 19 into 1, 19. As the denominator is common, we have put the common denominator as 2. Now, as the denominator we have common, we can simplify the numerators. 
26 minus 19 children will get it as 7 by 2. Now the next step we'll have, we'll cross multiply this 7 in the denominator with 2. So m equal to 7 by 2 multiplied by 7. What we'll get here? Now children you can see 7 and 7 gets cut. When nothing is left in the numerator children, don't put your answer as 2. There is something here in the denominator that is 1. When you have nothing left here, always take it as 1 by 2. Many times we see you all just put your answer as 2. But 2 is the denominator, it is not the numerator. So numerator, if you have nothing, take it as 1. Let us move for the next one. Next one children we have here, 2b by 3 minus 5 equal to 3. Now children you can see here, minus 5 will transpose on the another side. Okay, so minus 5 will become plus 5. Okay, so 3 plus 5 we get here 2b by 3 equal to 8. Now next step I will cross multiply 3 on the another side. You can see here 8 into 3. Even 2 children we can cross multiply here. Both the opposite sides. Okay, so 8 into 3 by 2. Now you can cut 2 1s are 2 4s are. So what is left now? 4 into 3. That means the value of b will get it as 12. Okay. Let us move for the next one. <coughs> Question number 2. Solve the following. So in the same way children here we have to solve the given equation by transposing the numbers on the another side. But here let bit change. Here you can see the question 2 multiplied by x plus 4 equal to 12. Children here 2 is a common number that has to be multiplied with both the numbers in the bracket. So what do we do? 2 multiplied by x you will get it as 2x. 2 multiplied by 4 you will get it as 8. First step multiply the number with the bracket. Okay. Now you get the equation in a proper manner. Now let us transpose plus 8 on the another side. It will be as minus 8. Therefore, we will get 2x equal to 12 minus 8. 12 minus 8 children we get as 4. So, 2x equal to 4. Now, cross multiplying 2 with 4 here. So, you will get x is equal to 4 by 2. 2 1s are 2 2s are. So, we will get the value of x as 2. Let us see what is next here. Here also 3 into n minus 5 equal to 21. Here also 3 is a common number multiplied with the bracket. 2 numbers inside that is n and 5. Okay. So let us multiply 3 into n we get 3n. 3 into minus 5 we get minus 15. So finally we get 3n minus 15 equal to 21. Now transposing minus 15 on the another side it will become plus 15 here children. So 21 plus 15 we get it as 36. So 3n equal to 36. Now cross multiplying 3 you will get n equal to 36 divided by 3. When we reduce it 3 1s are 3 12s are. We get the value of n as 12. Next one. C that is 3 into n minus 5 equal to minus 21. Children let us multiply the bracket first. 3 into n we get 3n. 3 into minus 5 we get minus 15. Okay. So here minus 21 is given on the another side. Now here the same thing but only plus minus sign the difference is here. So 3n equal to minus 21 plus 15. Here minus 21 plus 15 children will give us our solution as minus 6 plus minus minus and sign of greater number that is 21. Now finally 3n equal to minus 6 children we get here. Now cross multiplying 3 will get n equal to minus 6 by 3. Now when we reduce 3 1s are 3 minus 2s are. Okay. So what we get the value of n we get it as minus 2. Let us see what is next here. Minus 4 multiplied by 2 plus x equal to 8. Children let us solve and multiply the bracket first. 
minus 4 into 2 will give us minus 8. Minus 4 into plus x will get minus 4x which is equal to 8. Now children minus 8 will take on the another side will transpose it so it will become plus 8. You can see here minus 4x equal to 8 plus 8. So next step we will get minus 4x equal to 8 plus 8 that is 16. So minus 4x that is x equal to 16 by minus 4. So 4 minus 4 ones are and minus 4 za. So you will get your answer of x which is equal to minus 4. Question number 3. Solve the following. Same way children here also you have to just transpose the number. So 4 equal to 5 into p minus 2. So here first let us multiply the bracket. 5 into p children we get 5p. 5 into minus 2 we get minus 10. So finally the equation we will get it here is 4 equal to 5p minus 10. Okay. Therefore 5p is equal to 4 plus 10. Therefore, children moving further. So, 5p is equal to 14. Therefore, p equal to 14 by 5. This is our answer. Okay. So, let us go. What is the next one? Number C here. 16 equal to 4 plus 3 into bracket t plus 2. Let us multiply this bracket children here. 16 equal to 4 plus 3 into t we get 3t. 3, 3 into 2 we get 6. So finally the equation we will get here. 16 equal to 4 plus 3t plus 6. Here children two whole numbers there. So we will solve them by adding them. So we will get 16 equal to 3t plus 10. You can put it as 16 equal to 3t plus 10. Okay. So now we will take this plus 10 on the another side with 16. It will become minus 10 here. 16 minus 10 equal to 3t. Finally subtracting 16 and 10 we get 6 equal to 3t. Now cross multiplying 6 by 3 equal to t children. 3 ones are 3 twos are. We get the value of t that is equal to 2. Next one, 4 plus 5p minus 1 equal to 34. First children will multiply this bracket. 4 plus 5 into p, 5p. 5 into minus 1, minus 5. Here children you can see two whole numbers. Let us simplify them. 4 minus 5 you will get here minus 1. Finally, 5p that is plus only and when we have solved this we got minus 1. So 5p minus 1 equal to 34. Transposing minus 1 on the another side children 34 plus 1 it will become. So we will get 5p equal to 35. Now cross multiplying 5p equal to 35. Therefore p equal to 35 by 5. Now 5 ones are 5 sevens are. What do you get your answer as? p equal to 7. Next, 0 equal to 16 plus 4 into m minus 6. Now when we multiply this bracket children we will get 0 equal to 16 plus 4 into m, 4m, 4 into minus 6, minus 24. Now children, 16 and minus 24 we have to simplify. When we simplify 16 minus 24, children we will get it as minus 8 that is 0 equal to minus 8 plus 4 m okay now as i take minus 8 on this side children minus 8 when i take this side it will become plus 8 so you can see here instead of 0 plus 8 it will remain 8 only 8 equal to 4 m so now you can see m equal to 8 divided by 4 i have cross multiplied 4 here so 4 ones are and 4 twos are. Finally we get the value of m as 2. 
so with this uh, we end this session children hope you understood this transposition method study well and see you in the next lecture thank you